Slurpty derp, my G's. How are we all doing? Today we're going to talk about kick drums again. Um, I wish I had some magic formula and some magic plugin to tell you about that, you know, how you can design your own perfect, amazing kick drum. Um, there are great plugins out there. Leave a comment down below if, if you like to design your own kicks, if you'd like to do it in Serum, in Vital or Phase Plant, or you'd like to do it in Kick 2 or something like that then let us know, let us know how you make your kick drums. Uh, however, uh, my number one advice for uh, using a powerful, punchy kick drum in drum and bass is just to pick one uh, that's really good already, <laughs> okay? No magic tricks here. Uh, I'm not religious about getting like every single sound to be my own made one, simply because I don't have enough time. You know, I could spend a few hours tweaking the smallest little parameters on a kick in Vital to get it perfect. And I might come close to a, an amazing one, but realistically, even if I spend hours and hours on it, I probably won't get something as interesting as a kick that I can probably find already on the internet in a sample pack. <laughs> and that's just me being brutally honest. And there is so much detail and work that goes into making a whole song making a whole D&B track and I, sp I personally I spend a lot of time on my tracks sometimes you know a month or two per song and um, there's so many other details to get what to get worked up about that you know picking a kick drum I'm not going to be spending hours on making my own to be honest with you um, I just there, 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 there are already so many good ones out there and if I can save time by finding one that works well in my track, I, I do not feel the slightest bit guilty that I haven't designed my own kick drum, you know, because that's such a small part of the whole process. And that's not where my creative um, strong suit is in designing a kick drum personally. So I like to pick kick drums from packs these days. I have made tracks before using my own kick drums, but where I've got limited time, I will just pick a great kick sample these days, okay? So no disrespect if you wanna design your own. I'm just saying, personally, I just like to pick a great one. And uh, <clears throat> packs that I've really liked, like in the last few, in the last month or two, the Ghost Syndicate ones are great. And also, um, a student also sent me the Spy Breaks uh, as well. There's some great kicks in there. You can get your kicks out of breaks, absolutely, as well. Um, go for top D&B producer packs as well. You know, go for the, your noisier kicks. Um, whoever else, Amos came, springs to mind for some reason. I don't think I've ever had one of those. Uh, yeah, don't be afraid to, to go straight for the big, uh, great producers who have put a lot of time into making kicks. And, you know, if they've made a sample pack for you to use then why, why not use that you know so the other things with picking good kicks though and again it's kind of down to what track you want to make but oh i like that one um for me i sort of go for I, I think about three things i think this is how how i pick my kicks now number one is 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 weight <laughs> i try and get the most weightiest kick drums i can possibly find uh, number two is obviously uh, clarity, so no like distortion or audible mud in the kick, otherwise it's going to be a nightmare. And then number three would be texture, so I want something that has a bit of character on it as well. So massive weight, high quality with no cli clicks or distortions or mud, and texture, so it sounds a bit different. It's got a bit of a yeah unique foley on top of it or something like that you know so this one this one's lovely and big and weighty and it's got some texture on it uh, it's maybe slightly a little bit long and there's only three things that i will ever do or is there three things it's probably two things i think um okay we can say two or three let's, let's say there's only two things i would ever really do to a kick drum Okay, and bear in mind, the kick drum is going to be sort of the foundation for the entire track. And I'm basically not going to change it, you know. If it needs to be changed, then it's 
probably because it's the wrong one. So and and this is like setting the standard for the whole mix down as well. So if you think about that, you know, selecting that great kick drum is really the make or break of your entire track, you know. So it's great to like if you've already got started working on a track, you've got some basses involved and everything like that. It's great to like switch between a few kicks and and try all them in and see if you can find the best fit. Um, but usually you don't need to process it. Uh, it, 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 that's the, that's the goal. That being said, the two things I would do to process it, uh, would be the number one thing I would do would be a transient shaper to control the length of it. I would not really bother with the attack ever. If the attack is not right on the kick originally, originally, you know, I'm going to pick a kick that has a good shape already. Yeah. The only thing is I might I might shorten it a bit if I want to uh yeah just free up a little bit of mix down room because this one is a massively weighty long sine wave kick so here I don't mind shortening it a bit and now that's like perfect for me there that is absolutely perfect so I love that one so the shape is already in the kick sample that I've chosen. That's the most important thing. And then I'm going to wrap this up in, in just one minute. Uh, the last thing I could do if it needed it, this one definitely doesn't, is a little bit of EQing. Okay. I don't I do not do low cuts like this on the kicks um, because, you know, that little low cut is going to affect the power of the sine wave here. And there's nothing else in your track that's that's as low in the frequency spectrum as the kick, except for the sub. And if you sidechain your kick and your sub correctly, you haven't got to worry about saving headroom in your mix by doing this. You know, it's not it's not necessary. This is what I found because it's only the sub that's going to be conflicting with it, and a good sidechain between those two will fix that up, and you won't have to um, destroy the quality of your kick by taking out low end frequencies of it. You know, because it should already be perfect. You know. So I, I, I like that it's got this 20 hertz and 30 hertz stuff. I like that in there, okay? Personally, it's what I like. One thing I could do if it was a bit muddy is I might just dip out a little bit of mid-range. You know, this is the main fundamental part that we love and it's got the nice high end in that we need. But if there's anything too boxy or, or boomy about it, could be sort of around the 150 to 250 area. This This actually does tighten it up a little bit. Just taking that part out a bit there. Okay, so that does actually give me a little bit more clarity when I do that. So that that is that has actually worked in this case. That would be the only thing I would do. I would leave it at, at, the, at that point. If I'm going further than that, I'm going to go back and, and find a better kick sample. Pay for some packs if, if you need to. Get some off friends, whatever you do. Um, design your own if you want to. Uh, personally, you know, I think to design a really, really great kick will take you many, many hours to get a really good one. And I don't have time to do that. So I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going to just cycle through the million kicks that are already on the internet, pick one that fits with my track the best, and we're good to go, ready to be creative again and get into the fun of composing. Hope that was a helpful tip for you guys today. Tomorrow we're going to carry on with another video. And tomorrow uh, I'm going to do a little vital bass line get the vital back out and I'll see you guys then. Peace out.